Rob Rossi and I'm opening up a Stone restaurant. I can't believe you're building it yourself. Well, give us a chance. Bring somebody in for sake. You think I really want to stay in here dirty? You want to be open, so... I'm just scared that we're going to lose, we could lose everything. Previously on opening the Stellan. Oh my god. <laughs> over there, saying over there, saying over there. Two full seatings. Ten minutes to put up a salad, guys. It's fing not good. Say, how's the food? How was this? How was the food? Right? So that's how you get your best feedback. Yeah, it is. The meat's perfect. And we're gonna get our letters from our architect and we're done. We're just waiting for the liquor license. There's not much we can do. Once again, we're waiting for the liquor license. That's it. I asked if there's anything I can do. He said no. So, well, the liquor license is approved, though, right? It is, but they got to mail it, right? To you or to the city? No, they mail it to me, but I, I don't know when it's going to come is the problem, right? Yeah. I'm trying to make it happen, but like you said, there's nothing I can do. Just wait. We're kind of kicking around the kitchen a little bit, doing some testing, and um, I thought it'd be kind of a cool time, maybe just experiment with some stuff. So we're going to try to make some cheese. Do you think of maybe putting a, a burrata dish on there? Just as a, yeah, as a cheese, homemade, house-made cheese, right? Yeah. And once we get rolling, I'll buy a fridge, and we'll make some, yeah. some other kinds, but for now, obviously there's money to be saved, right? I just want to see how incredibly excruciatingly long this is going to take to make. If we can't make it, I don't really like to serve it, so, you know, like cheese boards, I probably won't ever see one until I learn how to make cheese. Let's bring it up to 95. Thanks, Joe. Boiling is, is 212, right? Yeah. So it's basically warm. Make sense? If it takes me a full day, but if I can get 40 burrata, awesome. I'll do it twice a week, three times a week and you know, constantly keep making this stuff. I know everyone needs to get paid too and that's a big thing and we need to open and I don't want to lose anyone. It's been a long road to get here. Two days to prep and then third day open or you want the day before? We need two days to prep. Because we're going to be doing a little bit more prep than we usually do because we're not just trying to get through one night. No, no. So obviously we're going to do a little bit more prep. It's going to take a little bit more time and, um, and some of the dishes we haven't done. No, you haven't. Like the squid, right? That's right. Uh, whatever else is on there. Um, the devil's on horseback. Well, that's not a lot of work, but. We really need to open, uh, just even for myself. I can barely pay my rent. What I mean by barely is this month I actually don't have enough money to pay my rent. So. Yeah. We have a wine rep in today, uh, Mark Coster from Profile. He's a good friend of mine. Yeah, well, there is a little bit of explanation about the history, the vines, the vineyards. Josefina, look her, huh? Yeah. So Mark's brought in a, a producer from, from Spain, uh, a small family-run uh, winery, which is really exciting. This is the first one, that it's La Via Rufi. Eh? La Via Rufi. On the mineral taste, right? it's more like a kind of burgundy style, a good Chardonnay. Very well balanced, a touch of the oak with a touch of the fruit. I like that a lot. 32. It's fantastic to bring in wine reps uh, and, and more importantly the, the producers when we, when we can. It's very gastronomic. Eh? You can have it with all kind of tapas, with uh, smoked fish, with uh, lamb, with a white meat. You can ma pair this with a lot of different kind of dishes. That's good. What is, how much is it? 32. 32. Yeah. We're hoping to have uh, the second one that we'll try right in conjunction with it we're going to be switching over to that. Okay. We got a big meat order in today, and uh, Gus is here to watch. Yeah, these look nice. These are nice f***ing... Uh, these That's are nice. Better, That's better meat. Yeah, these are nice. trying to explain to him, you know, how it kind of works and we get the meat in, we age it and how much we pay and 
I think he's kind of interested in how the process works, like how you actually make money in this business. I think you, you're, you're doing it all wrong. No, I'm not. Yeah. What are you saying? Hang him. Uh, you see a hook? Well, don't you put a fucking bar? I know, I don't have a hook though. No, if you hang him, it's gonna look better. It's still gonna look good. So everything's in. We have all the paperwork. Uh, we have the liquor license, and it's opening night. You know, and as soon as we open, this whole chapter of our lives is over, which is going to be sad in itself too. But it's we're really excited for that. Cooking these all the time, eh? Heather and I had been playing around with, you know, the burger buns for quite a while, and I think we finally got a good solid recipe. They're coming out really nice. Yeah, they're fine. I'm really lucky to have my, um, to my, to have my dad, my stepdad, in from from Europe. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Have a good flight. Yeah. He's good to have around and, and kind of give us a couple good words before we kind of get into some heavy stuff here. Finally, congratulations, this is really cool. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's cool though. We, 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 we've been waiting too long for this, so. Uh, busy tonight? Or I think you we've got a... 80 and then... Um, 80 already? Yeah, wow. that's just rezos and then hopefully with Watkins we get another. So, so much for a slow night to start? <laughs> I, I knew this was gonna happen though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good though. We need it. I don't want it. You know what? There's no point in being slow even in the beginning. We can make some cash back, and <laughs> that's the biggest thing right now. You know? <laughs> There's definitely some some nervous tension going around today. People are very on edge about tonight. James, don't be, why are you so crusty? What's wrong with you? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. Shut up. Listen, Shut up. put some more dippity do in your hair. <laughs> Thank God we're all finally here. We have a very busy first night. Um, we're very fortunate. A lot of restaurants start really slow. We get to um, start fast. Just try and be proactive at every step because there will be things that we have forgotten and we're realizing as we go. And let's most importantly try and show everyone how excited we are that we're, that we're open. Um, the kitchen's got lots of food and is ready for all you server guys, so do your best to get people to try a lot of things. We want people to try as much as we can. Remember the sharing. Remember how good the steaks are for sharing. You know, uh, just because it's 16 ounces doesn't mean one person has to have it. Two people have it and have another dish and share that. Um, or have appetizers, lots of snacks. Get people trying lots of food. <laughs> As ready as we're gonna be. Strangely enough, our first customer is not one that uh, was overly expecting to come in. He just sort of was walking down the street and saw us open. How you doing, first customer? It's exciting, man. Yeah. Oh, I know you've had trials. This is exciting. Yeah. I'm a little bit nervous, but I feel I feel like I'm in my game and I'm in my element and I'm ready to to please people and have people, you know, come back. Get me a burger, medium rare, and a sprout, second course, okay? Yeah. I will three two medium burgers in two minutes. Yeah, two in minutes. In two minutes, two medium rare burgers. Make sure you 
season these enough too. Remember last time you got Yeah. Yeah, One of my friends out front, she's getting a little out of control, and uh, it's it's normal for these things to happen. But I guess because now I own the place, I kind of look at it a lot different. She's like, yeah, you know, like stupid belligerent, and she already oh, made a huge scene. Oh, oh right. Well, she's your friend. Like, so what? If she's fucking uh, acting a belligerent, you can't fucking serve her. Well, I, that's what I'm saying. Just tell her, say, Randy. It's amazing how stressful things become and you don't even really understand how stressed out you are until little things happen. These squids, they're exploding. I have chorizo stuffed squids and they're just cooking them too hot. They're just bursting. I have to kind of get back there and show them, you know, how to kind of like be a little gentle with them so we can, you know, serve them instead of throwing them in the garbage all the time. At this point, I'm like, I'm pretty stressed out. I just, I need a drink. You know what? I do need a fucking drink. Or a water or something? Or no, soda? Like, I need some, like, alcohol. Yeah. Seriously, I'm freaking out a little bit. Yeah, what do you want? What's the problem? I need a drink. What yeah. do you want? I don't know. Like, a, like, a cocktail? Or, or a little, like, like a little brown. You want some, no, some brown like, some, yeah, some booze. Like, I just honestly need a drink. I need to just relax before I start, like, overreacting about anything. I want to be squid. Two of them in a row burst open. Center. I understand. Last time we do five of these f***ing things, something. First day, this is wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. So I'm gonna get him one a little earlier than, than we might normally do. It was tough because things weren't coming out like I wanted them to. What's going on with you guys? How many dishes? Oh wait, how many dishes do you have on this on this side here? Seriously? Yes. Answer me. I have the boat. You have how many dishes? Four dishes. How do you not have it ready? I've been helping you guys too. It's not like we're just running around with two days of crap. Two days of crap, Andrew. Don't do this to me again. I feel like they're not taking it as serious as they should, and it hurts me because it's my business. Be reasonable with me. Okay, yeah, now, where's your mustard? mustard. 25. Here. 25? Maybe Dijon. Um, and I just want everyone to really put in their all. Don't you guys remember the post going on the side? Okay. What's going on the side? Put the post on the side there. That's very hot. Okay, I'm not mad at you guys. I'm just... You guys aren't thinking, you're not reacting, so you're just doing it. Just doing, 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 doing. Man, those burgers... 
You needed to pack those more. Most of them are okay. But I understand what you're saying. Yeah. I'm going to do rotini and arugula and mac with butter. Is that okay? Sure. I don't think anyone has to do that. We're still in the middle of service, but I have to pull Joe off. Joe, uh, can I talk to you for a minute? And I get him into the fridge and I have a little heart to heart with him. I'm trying to prop him up a little bit because he seems a little down, he seems a little stressed out. Day one and uh, you know there's been some there's been some slip ups and I just want to make sure that we we get on them and he gets on them and uh, we don't allow it to happen. With opening night behind us, um, I have definitely have some issues that I, I need to sort out with the front. And stuff like, where's our coffee from? Where do we get our coffee from? The other thing I've heard too from multiple friends that have come in, they didn't even know we had pee water. Automatically they get tap water for it. Why the hell did Ryan and I get a pee water system for it? There's just not, I, don't, I, don't, I just don't think they're educated enough. Do they know that we cut the fries and we make the ketchup and like, there's so many things that like, I bet you the guests would even be like, holy shit, I didn't realize they did all this. We're not gonna even wind up selling anything if we don't try to sell it. You know, there's there's more than just putting menus down and taking orders. That's just that's one percentage of your job. The rest of it is is trying to get those sales, extract that uh, the stuff out of the people. There's no problems in the back because Joe and I basically already let someone go yesterday. We let a stage go out for ten minutes, and we possibly might not let another staff go too. We're dealing with our own issues, but the, the point is, we're dealing with them with them in the greater sense. You're let go now. You don't work here anymore. And that's, those are the next steps that's gonna happen if things don't progress. I feel like a lot of the stuff that we're doing in the kitchen, none of it's, we're not, there's no justice to it anymore. It's just, I don't know, we're just pounding food out because no one knows what the f we're doing. And it upsets me. The kitchen's progressed a lot. We're, we're trying new things. You know, we smoke sausages and we put them on the menu that night. Smoke everything. Smoke, 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 smoke blunts in it. <laughs> Bakery blunts. <laughs> I love the smoke. It's not I don't know exactly where it came about, but we decided on a pig dinner, a, a roast suckling pig. It's like 18 pounds of meat, um, all glorious and rich. Get that in your oven soon. It's like the biggest thing I want to do in this restaurant. I think it's really cool. Essentially, we do it kind of Asian style where we pour hot water. We, we're trying to essentially steam the thing. It tightens the skin up. And then once it hits the heat, it just it starts to pop, right? And that's how you get that nice crack over the head. This is gonna be a good pig tonight. I'll be honest, this is one of the nicest pigs I've seen. Pig. Yeah. It's perfect. It's been about four hours now and the pig is almost ready to come out. And the people are just like so stoked. It's so cool because they're like the first people and they know they're the first people to experience this. I tell you guys, let's eat the pig. <laughs> Because we know how much fun it is and the excitement, we really want to make a, a presentation of the whole, the whole event. And this little piggy didn't quite make it home. <laughs> People get crazy excited. Sometimes they start screaming. 
you know, doing shots. Like it's, it's, uh, it's like extreme casual. I'm not gonna lie. I wanna eat that thing in my belly. <laughs> it's unreal. It's the best meat that, uh, that you can get from, from pork, in my opinion. It's the only thing on the menu that we haven't done yet and we finally did it and it's now I feel like it's official. We're officially open. But now we're, we're at the stage where the reviewers start coming in and we need to make sure that we, we take them as seriously as, as opening in the first place. On the next episode, opening Bastella. Well, you know what? Mom came into the restaurant two days ago and she loved it. I do stuff like this. I wonder why. There's no way I'm appropriate for service. Sorry again, I'm simply a shred of a man. You got the best part. <laughs> An anchovy, a little bit of parsley and pecorino and I'm done. They are going to compete right now, right, Russ?